So uh, this is about how to replace uh, an outboard bracket on a small outboard motor. This is a Tahatsu 9.9. I wouldn't know if they're all the same because I'm not an outboard mechanic and I don't uh, make any guarantee that this is the right way to do it, the best way. It's just the way that worked without pulling the power head off and everything. I couldn't find much on YouTube, so I thought this might be useful. Anyway, so uh, you've got um, hang on, this bracket here held on with a couple of rubber washers and a rubber suspension or whatever. Thankfully, you can actually unscrew this one. It's in two pieces, which gives you access to this pin, which you can punch out. It's your gear shift pin. Then you can lift, shift the gear shift and pull the, the thing out, which allows you to move the broken one. This is the fix. I've already fixed it. You can pull the broken one away. You can get more play by moving this down. This slides on a couple of rubber bushes, and uh, you can move it a few centimetres before all the cables and stuff get tight, which gives you enough room to slide the broken one off and put the new one back on without pulling the whole thing apart. Might be old news to my, all you outboard mechanics, but I didn't know. Anyway, so there's the old busted one. There's the new one on there, which isn't assembled yet. I've still got to put the, uh, the uh, all those bits on there. That's the old one, broken one. So. Now, um, before you, you feel stupid about breaking your engine, <laughs> backing it out with the leg down and hitting it a lump or whatever, lump, lump of grass or a rock, before you feel too silly about it, these parts I actually found out were on back order. I got mine second hand at Harvey Bay Wreckers. But, uh, yeah, they're on back order. So if you busted one, you're not the only fella or, you know, you're not the only boater who's, who's done it. So there you go, now my dog's barking, so I'll stop it. I hope that's useful to you. Cheers.